All right, ladies and gents, time for part two of our flame testing of inorganic evidence. Uh, so here we see our three unknown liquids, and we are going to test them via flame for what color they emit, and then compare them to our previously tested known substances to see which ones they're most similar to. So once again, we're going to start with unknown one. Remember, the, the loop has already been decontaminated. So here with unknown one introduce it to the flame. And once again, that beautiful lavender purple color. So unknown one burns a beautiful kind of lavender color. Let's do that again. So it's very, very distinctive. So based on that result, you should be able to match unknown one with one of our known substances. Okay, that can be acid for decontamination. Next up, unknown two. This is an actually orange colored fluid. We haven't actually seen that before, so it might be something different. We don't know. So we're going to subject unknown two to the same test. And this time, get that kind of purple red color again. Simply a purpley red, very bright, very distinctive, as you can see. We have a reddish purple. So from that test, we should also be able to identify unknown two by matching it to one of our knowns. Finally, we have unknown three. And we're recording this data on table two. And once again, unknown three, introducing it to the flame. And here we see a very, very distinctive bright green color. Try that again. So we can get a little bit more data. So once again, beautiful bright green color to our unknown three. Put it back in for decontamination. And at this point, gang, you should be able to determine the identi identity of our three unknowns by comparing them to our known samples. And we're going to be recording this data on table two of your lab handout.